another US in their Cox system. Which means that W is a positive group. my addition for that entity in W. W is also opposite under the dual order. So we have the tools model for the other D. If I leave you is a subword <laughs> of V. So here I'm being a little bit sloppy, so this must be read for any reduced expression of V that exists a reduced expression of Q which is a subword of V. Mm -hmm. Okay, the broad example of coxer groups is the semantic group, but here we have a simple example. So if we take three generators and all the integer n and j equal to two, we have that the generators commute. So we get uh, an opinion cox in the group. And since we are <coughs> interested most in the posit structure, we visualize the cox in the group with uh, the acid diagram. So we have, which is ranked by the length. So we have one bottom element, which is always the identity. Then in rank one, we have the generators. In rank two, we have the product of two generators. And then we have all, the only element which has length three, which is the top element in this case. Okay, so this is how you, you should think of a constant group during this talk. So, cops in the groups, we have an algebraic structure, a group structure, and a combinatorial structure, the structure of the post. In 79, Kazdan and Lusky. find a family of polynomials. Indexed by pair of elements in the Coxley group with a priori integer coefficient in one variable for historical reasons. <coughs> Okay, so let me tell you that P U V is equal to zero if and only if U is not smaller or equal than B. So we have one polynomial for each interval in the constant group. And these are the celebrated Casalucci polynomials. Important. 
for several reasons. <laughs> for example, they are what you need to construct the cast representations. These are representations of the AK algebra associated to W. And an application is in the study of Schubert variety. <coughs> last week, and then we have application also in the study of Fermi model. But they are also quite hard, so if we want to compute them, we have a recursive formula which is quite important. So you can express PUB as a linear combination of many other Casalusi polynomials with coefficients depending on other Casalusi polynomials. So it's quite a difficult formula, but all these polynomials are of rank smaller than the rank of the integral UV, and so you can use this <coughs> but this is quite hard to do. And then if the polynomials are general in the sense that so all polynomials P with the non-negative coefficients <coughs> and with the constant term equal to one, our customer is equal to one. <coughs> and this is a result by follow. So they are very general. The fact that the constant term is equal to 1 is easy to prove for, for all capital losing polynomials. So let's say the producer's outset that all the negative polynomials are capital losing polynomials. So the starting point of this investigation was the following conjecture. So let me 
state this in a different way. You have one cursor in blue, and you have an interval here. You have another cursor in blue and another interval in here. You can define. So suppose that <coughs> these two intervals are isomorphic. Then these two polynomials in different Gaussian group are the same. intervals up to rank 8, <laughs> like A, and 6 in type B and D. Then for intervals which are isomorphic to the Boolean algebra, So by rank of the <coughs> interval, you mean the difference of the ranks of the two elements? Uh, yes. Okay. So, uh, for example, this <laughs> interval here has rank two. Okay. This. <coughs> so for the Boolean algebra in all cross groups. What does it mean isomorphic to Boolean algebra? Sorry. What does it mean? Ah, Boolean algebra. This is. Um, the poset of um, the subset of a fixed sub uh, set okay. under inclusion. <coughs> and then uh, for all the intervals in the universal Coxian group. And this is the Coxian group which has no blade relation. So all M and J are infinity. So this is Incipi, this is Granti, and this is Dyer. Okay. When you work on this kind of problem, actually you don't work with the castle of polynomials, but there is another family of polynomials, which is equivalent to the family of the Catholic polynomial. <coughs> and these are the R polynomials. These are in one variable Q and in the next by pairs of elements in the consonant. <coughs> and these two families are equivalent. So let me make this a little bit more precise. So fix u and v in w. If one knows all the R polynomials in this interval, one knows all the people in audience in the same interval. Okay, and vice versa. 
<coughs> this means that here we could write RUV in place of PUV, and the conjecture is the same. So the two conjectures are equivalent. In the sense that we have an algorithm to compute 
the Casaluzzi polynomials, which depends only on the positive structure of this interval. Let me explain briefly how it works. Does it matter? Sorry? Does the orientation matter? No, no. Okay. We just have a common relation that satisfies this to all this. <coughs> That's not the same V, though. Sorry? The V in the diagram is not the same V that you fix on to the new one. Is that right? Uh, yes, you're right. <coughs> so maybe this is X. structure gives you 
some special matching, <coughs> but there are more. And uh, the idea is that, so what, what we proved, what we proved is that all the special matchings compute the R polynomial as the lambda s do. Is that that in the recursion we may uh, write a special matching in place of the multiplication by s and we obtain the that it can be computed <coughs> polynomials. So that we write p. So this is equal to R and U and V <coughs> if and U is smaller than U. Otherwise it's equal to R and U and V plus P minus 1 R U and V. If U goes up. So not only the lambda s, but all special matchings compute the customer with the polynomial. So this depend on the algebraic structure, but the special matching don't depend on the algebraic structure. So special matchings are abstractions of the multiplication the combinatorial abstractions of the multiplication, where you don't use the algebraic structure. <coughs> okay, so... so. Uh, they have no fixed points. No, no, they... Yes, they have no fixed point. Because... U and U is an edge. So, no fixed point. Okay, now, the question is if this can be generalized to the parabolic setting. So this is the new part. Can this be generalized to the parabolic setting? Okay, so the question is natural, the answer not as natural as the question. So let me fix the rotation, so we fix the subset of S, and we have W sub H, which is the, uh -huh. sub, the parabolic sub generated by H. And we have WH, which is the set of minimum closed representatives. And we have, um, so let's call this the quotient. It's not a portion, but let's call it a portion. And for x equal to q or minus 1, delta the four defines the parabolic analog of the Casamuzi polynomial. So two families of polynomials the P polynomials and the R polynomials So 
for two families for the B and two families for the R. They are indexed by elements in the quotient. In the quotient. And they are equivalent in the same sense as the ordinary one. So, if uh, and if uh, H is the empty set, the quotient is equal to the group, and uh, we obtain. the ordinary Casalis equivalence. So this is a generalization of the Casalis equivalence. And uh, <coughs> again we have that these polynomials are zero with use not smaller than B in the in the order uh, induced by the blue order on the quotient. So if U is not smaller than B, then U B is zero and the same is true for the R polynomial. Okay, so what we have here is that we have one one p polynomial for each interval in the quotient. So let me denote this a interval u b in the quotient, and this is the parabolic interval. Okay, just to have an idea, these intervals can be quite general. So if this is an, the interval in the blue order, if H is empty, we obtain the same interval. Otherwise, we obtain something that could be strange. For example, here we have not number of elements, so there are no matchings of this interval. <coughs> okay, the analog of the combinatorial bias conjecture is the following. So if the parabolic intervals are <coughs> isomorphic, then the polynomials are equal. So this is the conjecture that has been around for a while. And this conjecture is false and not generally found a counterexample two years ago. So, so the, when I knew about this this counterexample, I was quite happy because so it's supports the idea that uh, for a combinatorial approach you cannot um, get rid of the information you get from the elements which are not in the quotient. So what what is my what is the idea is that we have to consider not only the parabolic uh, interval but the interval in the blue order and how the parabolic intervals embed in it. So within this perspective the right conjecture should be the following. <coughs> so if the 
two intervals, the two blue intervals are isomorphic. And this isomorphism restricts to an isomorphism on the parabolic intervals. So the restriction, the restriction of this is again isomorphism. Then the two polynomials are the same. So this conjecture is proved for for lower blue intervals. But in the in uh, W lanes or diagonal cox W lanes means that all M and J are smaller equal than four, and then you know that they have two generators. But the super H and the so the interval. Uh, yes. Sorry. Okay, so in particular it's true for all the groups. <coughs> but we don't know for other groups. Okay, so the proof of this result, again using special matching. But then we have to, um, so we have this idea that we have to, to consider the entire, the old um, interval and how the parabolic interval embeds in it. And so we have to consider not all special matching, but a subclass of the class of special matching. So let's call it an H special matching of an element B in the ocean is a special matching such that if we have an element and that goes down with the matching, then necessarily M of U must be in the position. So again, we have this idea, so each special matching is a matching of the whole dual interval with a good behavior of the elements in the position. So we, we have to know how the parabolic interval, interval embeds in the Broglie interval. And uh, so the theorem is proved by showing, by proving that the H special matching compute <coughs> The customer You cannot use all special matching, but if you use this subclass, you can compute the customer supernomials <coughs> as the special matching computer for the other one. Okay, this is the parabolic customer supernomial. Okay, so. Let me just notice something. So to prove this, we need um, some algebraic properties of the special matching. So the special matching, <coughs> special matching is a positive theoretical object. 
so you can define special matching in any, in any closet. But the special matchings of a coxal group, which has an algebraic structure, have some algebraic properties. So paradoxically, to prove that the algebraic structure is not needed to compute the people moments, you have to use the algebraic properties of the special matching. So maybe if we find other algebraic properties of the special matching, we can prove this for all constructions. Okay, so I stop here. Thank you. Thank you very much. Are there any questions about me? It's really just a comment, not a question. So you mentioned that the classical combinatorial invariance conjecture is true for Boolean algebra. It's actually true for any lattice. And I hear yes. that. So, okay, so it was just to make it simple. Okay. Any other comments? I don't know if this even makes sense, but is there any characterization of the class of process that admit such matchings? Okay, um, no. And so actually, what you really need is not a characterization of the process which have a special matching, but you want to compute the these polynomials iterating the recursive. So you want poses that satisfy this. For each element P, you consider this interval, you have a special matching. Then you have to consider <coughs> M of D, and you want a special matching of what is below M D, and so on, because you have to use the. Okay. So this is a class of poses that I call zircons, and uh, they have good properties, so they are as to steers, they are Eulerian, they. Um, how are the uh, low rank results proof? Are there explicit formulas for those polynomials or no no it's just that the special matchings compute the castle of the So since the special matching depends only on the post of structure, you have the conjecture. There are no Close formulas or anything like that. We have a seven minute break and we start.